Paul Grayson joins us to reflect on the disappointing result against Derbyshire. Paul beaten by 10 wickets in three days. Yeah, been completely outplayed in the three days. You know, Derbyshire riding high, top of the league, play with lots of confidence. Uh, unfortunately, we haven't played well enough over three days. Very disappointing to score first innings. It was a good wicket. Uh, to get bowled out for 182 was very disappointing. As well as Derby ball, I thought Wayne Wright was excellent. He's well supported by the same bowlers as well. But, uh, you know, it was a pretty flat wicket, and to get bowled out for that score was a, a massively b below par score. Yes, indeed. Well, you've been very honest there. Uh, perhaps, I mean, it's one, one point to reflect on a defeat, but it's important not to dwell on it, isn't it? There would be some positives to take out the game and suggest O.A. Shah making a, a, an excellent return in his first game of the summer for us. Tom Craddock as well, and uh, a nice little spell from Tom Wesley. Yeah, there's a few positives to take out of him, but, uh, you know, Tom Craddock ball nicely. It's his first championship ball this year. Um, some of the pitches we've played on so far this year have not been conducive to spin bowling, so it's nice to get him back in the side. That should set him up nicely for the rest of the season and give him confidence. Nice to get away Urshia Shah back in the side. He's um, been away at the IPL, so it's nice to have his experience back into the, into the dressing room. Uh, I thought Fozzie played a really good knock today, very responsible captain's role. Um, so that was good to see. Um, and I thought we bowled pretty well. You know, To restrict him to 320 was a good effort. Um, but overall, um, too many people had bad days through the game, and you can't afford that. You know, you need five or six or maybe seven performing nearly at the maximum, and we've only got three or four that have had quite good games. Yes, indeed. So uh, perhaps well, that's seven games gone. A um, little break. We've got two CB40 games now. Um, I suppose it's important to get a win uh, from any competition, just to lift the spirits a little bit. Yeah, spirits aren't too bad, you know, we we played quite well last week at uh, Old Trafford and Lancashire played very well and we just fell short of that game. Played poorly here, uh, we've got a big uh, big match on Tuesday at the Netherlands who uh, who started the competition pretty well with two wins, um, so we uh, can't sit around and feel sorry for ourselves, we've got to get back on the horse, um, look forward to going out there on Monday and putting in a big performance, we've got them on the Tuesday and then the following Monday we've got Gloucester here, so... We need to start winning some CB40 matches for sure. Yeah, indeed. OK, Paul. Well, thanks for your time on that. Thanks for your honest uh, assessment. And uh, we'll catch up again with you shortly. Cheers. James Foster joins us to reflect on a disappointing result for Derbyshire and perhaps just reflect on uh, the season thus far, James. First of all, let's uh, home in on that uh, disappointing defeat against Derbyshire. Although, I suppose, one of the satisfying points was your 96. Um, yeah, I mean, break it down. Um, we've been outplayed, simple as that. Um, I thought they performed very well with the ball on that first day. 180 odd was way below par. And um, you know, trying to win a game when you score that as a first innings total, you're always up, you know, shoveling the proverbial. Um, so, you know, it's uh, one of those things. And um, you know, we, you know, there's a bit, bit of character shown in second innings, but even still. Um, chasing down what they had to chase down 90 um, was always going to be an inferior stroll in the park. So it was disappointing. However, you know, I, I did. I was very impressed with Derby. I thought they were were, were really good. I thought they did a base exceptionally well. They built up a lot of pressure, and um, unfortunately, we couldn't cope with it. Yeah, indeed. And uh, it's been a difficult start for us, hasn't it? Uh, insofar as it's been very off on, off on with the with the weather, and I guess it does have an impact. It makes a difference to players as far as rhythm goes, etc., etc. Perhaps uh, the results of our batting today showed that a little bit. Um, yeah, I mean the the form so far, you know, it's it's been difficult, as you said. You know, stop start sort of scenario with a lot of bad weather. A couple of games of you know. One of the games had two days. One of the games we only had 20 odd overs in it in four days. So um, rhythm for batters has been hard work, but um, you know I guess it's maybe similarish around the country. Um, but you know on, the, on a wicket like this, um, you, know, you, you want to be getting a lot more runs in that first innings. You know, first innings total, I guess, is is um, it's been hard work for us over the last few years. You know, it's probably in our Achilles heel, and we're always sort of trying to. Drag, drag it back, getting back into the game, and um, we, we can't afford to do that. But let me tell you, you know, we're, we're, we're trying hard, we're practicing hard, but unfortunately, we're just not right making the right decisions, decision making um, out there on the field. Albeit for this game in particular, I'd say, you know, I don't think there were any poor shots played. Um, I thought the pressure they built, there's some good balls kicking around in that first innings. 
uh, I think credit to, to Derby. Yes, indeed. And uh, well, let's look ahead now. The next two games involve the CB40 competition. And again, important that we start to uh, get some wins in that if we're really going to figure in the business end of the season. Start with Netherlands, which won't be an easy game, and then Gloucestershire here on Bank Holiday Monday. Yeah, two very difficult teams. Netherlands obviously play a lot of international cricket. A well drilled unit. Um, we're not going to know much about them. I don't know if Tendo will be around to, to sneak in a few ideas, but look, you know they're, they're they're a very good team, and um, and we've got to get off the mark in that competition, and then we when we play Gloucestershire uh, back at home, I think it is uh, again a you know, traditionally a very good one day outfit. Know their skills, know their roles. So uh, two big games, uh, no doubt about that. And, and but hopefully we we can get to that um, get to Amsterdam. Uh, sorry, Rotterdam. And put in a good performance. Yeah, indeed. And I mean, winning winning becomes a habit then, doesn't it? And we perhaps uh, look forward to games with just that little bit more confidence and spring in the step, maybe. Yeah, in one day career, I mean, you're always, we're always confident. You know, that's, that's been our strength over the years. And unfortunately, um, we've lost our first two games. I thought we actually played um, nicely at times against Lancashire. It was the first game, Worcester, we were, we were poor. Um, Lancashire, I thought we performed quite nicely. And um, I think they're. Moore and Croft took the game away from us slightly, but then you know we, we were in there with a hunt, and obviously with, with Napes played a little gem of a knock, we almost got over the line, but it wasn't to be. But for us now, it's all about um, playing Holland in their patch and trying to come out there with a positive result. Wish you and the boys well on that. Thanks for your time, James.